Welcome to the Daily Devo. My name is Jessica, and today we are going to talk about a joyful heart. Today's verse is Proverbs 17, 22. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. In another version, it says, a cheerful disposition is good for your health. Gloom and doom leave you bone tired. Life is hard. <laughs> Are you feeling bone tired? Do you feel a bit crushed? Why? Because life is hard. Nowhere in the Bible does God say, hey, this whole life thing is a piece of cake. Jesus said troubles will come. Paul talks about thorns in his flesh. James talks about persevering through suffering. Life is hard. And God knew it. And since he knew it, God also knew we needed joy. This proverb today is spelling out literal science. Joy in the heart is good medicine. Basically, joy is a pack of vitamins or Dayquil or Neosporum, a relief that soothes the aches of our soul. It's not just a fleeting emotion. It's a powerful medicine prescribed by the creator and caretaker of our souls. There is this science of happiness where real science really tells us how joyful people live longer. They have strengthened immune systems, less aches and pains, and even have less heart disease. I don't have time to share all the things, but you investigators need to check this out. Joy changes our lives. We live in a reality where challenges and trials are inevitable where our spirit can be crushed by the weight of life's struggles. Yet in the midst of it, God asks us to embrace joy. Not a superficial happiness dependent on circumstances, but a deep-seated joy rooted in our relationship with him. God knew we needed joy. And God knew through spending time with him, it's easier to find joy. Recently, I found myself in a painful situation and I was crushed. I was processing and talking with my husband and God reminded me I can choose what role I played in this hardship. I can choose to be hurt. I could choose to see only hurt. Or, third option, I could look at the whole picture and see the good and the hard. That one decision set up dominoes to fall for me to see the good and the hard in other situations too. Life isn't always black and white, all or nothing. It's not all joy or gloom. But I will say not choosing gloom helped me to have joy. It's like this quote I heard one time, if you numb the pain, you numb the joy. Instead of dwelling on the pain, I felt it, and then I chose to focus on the blessings that surrounded me. I found joy in noticing moments, a warm cup of coffee, a kind word from a friend, and just the beauty of nature outside. I found joy in remembering the good in that situation. And I was able to pass that joy along to other people around me. It wasn't about ignoring the pain, but choosing to see beyond beyond it. Our joy becomes a testimony to the goodness of our God. It becomes a healing supplement, not only for ourselves, but for those around us. In a world desperate for hope, a joyful heart becomes a gift of life, refreshing those who are around. Just like rain can refresh and help a dry desert. Can I give you permission today to pursue joy? Can I even encourage you to schedule in your calendar a time for joy? Whether it's watching a movie that you know will make you laugh, whether it's hanging out with a friend who's just fun and carefree, whether it's planning a date with a spouse or a roommate or a child doing a fun activity. Seek joy in the midst of hard. Let's not deny that life isn't hard. 
Joy is a relief to our hearts, minds, and soul. And may you find joy in shifting your perspective or your schedule and even passing it along to others. Thank you for joining us today on The Daily Devo. Thank you.